Hello and welcome back to Code Buds with Nerf. Welcome back. We were trying to decide what to do here because we still haven't gotten our magic cure all recipe from cooking yet. We could just go like kind of randomly explore. I don't think we have enough hit points to be randomly exploring right here though. Right. Uh especially in the latest patches, the uh the the go folk sowers got some throwing arms. <laughs> I was just say they are a lot scarier than they used to be. Even more? What did, what happened there? Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but like enemies now kind of remember where you were when you're behind cover. Okay. And so sowers just keep throwing grenades at your cover, and oh. trees don't really hold up too well to grenades. So you you can no longer just like duck behind a tree and. It is pretty hard to get away from a sower far enough that it'll throw its whole thing before you get hit. Yeah. Oh my god, they were already a menace. Yeah, they're pretty scary. I don't really want to get lost in the flower fields. We know about Bela, and we aren't unfriendly with them yet. We do have a Salt Dunes historic region we could check out. Yeah, let's do that, actually. The only thing is we're not, we're not going to get inspired too often from doing that. If we really want to, like, optimize, we have to be doing, like, comb, uh, desert combing. Yeah, yeah. Get our meal. Notice some ruins. Might as well explore them. It's the second time you found a fire snout. They're, they're quite rare outside of asphalt mines, I thought. Just did a hop, skip, and a jump. The new, I gotta say, the jump, the it's jump animation, animation like <laughs> added so much to that skill. Woo. Ouch. So wait, are, are you, do you have the uh, triple jump recipe on right now? No, you're hungry. No. Ooh. <laughs> so I started blasting. We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave that ruin alone. Yeah, it seems like a more methodical ruin than it has any right to be. Oh, God. So I started sleeping. Something I've been um, taking more and more early these days is self-discipline. Because that meditate bonus is just, like, yeah, really good. It's really good. Ooh. Nylon body pack. So at first light, under a marvelous and burgundy sky, the people of Oliva, not sun image on the horizon, it looked like a one-sided dye bathed in burgundy. <laughs> Zixer Mass the third, and he came and left Alavana. The people built a monument to him, called him the Burgundy One Sided Die. I'm pretty sure we know that one. Oh, yeah, we know that one. We read that back in like episode one. So hmm. the um the mushroom recipes do they work if you eat just like mushroom ingredients, like pickled mushroom? I don't know. I wonder what this is. That is gonna be what is that? That's gonna be like a really stupid item that has a solar cell in it. Yeah, like a good cell in it. But I need a good cell. It's one of the reasons why I wonder what that is. We can afford it. It could be a good cell. High yeah. capacity solar cell. We needed a we needed a cell because we were running out of. Oh, there we go. Aha. Uh -huh. There, there we, we go. go. Yeah. So do we just turn back around or do we go to this? Uh, I think we go to this site. Yeah, let's commit. We walked by it. A uh, number of times on my stream, I left Jopa, got immediately lost, and was on the other side of Jopa, like, opposite of where I was trying to go. So I went, like, in that direction, and like, oh, you found Jopa again. Imagine being so hopelessly, Ooh. like, prone to, to losing. Please be. Oh. Please be. Uh, it's good rep. Yeah, no, I'm thinking this is gonna be filled with legendary ones of these, which each one of these then spawns with an army of Naftali. Right. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. What? There's a second one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. This is going to be a Sultan cult of these guys. I didn't realize there were two of them. I think there's going to be, like, multiple per floor. Oh, jeez. Like, I, I think the follower is legendary robot dude. Hmm. I think we're probably okay. A lot of these guys will probably kill themselves attacking me. We'll just take it nice and slow. Yeah, see? We'll just focus on the one, let everyone else take the damage. Just, just form an orderly line to die. Yeah. Speaking of which. Mm, there we go. Yeah, I noticed he was almost dead, and we were getting a little swarmed. So we're just gonna dance for a minute and head over to the stairway. Started shanking. Why are they fighting each other? Cause, uh, that archer is shooting the shit out of his friends. Would be my guess. Yeah, dude. This happens so rarely. Oh my Gopal. gosh. And Ezra. But oh, admired but by rip frogs. frogs. Yeah. Rip frogs, rip. Well, you already know jump, so that is the only thing frogs can provide. 
It's all right. I mean, the next one might be hated by frogs. Consortium of Fida. That's really nice. Oh, there's another one. Oh, oh that we already had that one. Remember, I had a historic site that was like filled to the brim with cannibals, legendary cannibals. That was like, yeah, they, they were all hated by every faction. <laughs> At least we won't have to deal with Loth followers, right? Like, yeah, we don't have to deal with Feral La La Land. Oof. What is shooting you? What does that sound? I don't know. Rush off lore. You can learn that by playing Caves of Code. I don't have to read that one to you. Whoa. <laughs> we already know about Delighticus Antelope's favor. But the Ecstasy of Time. That was lost by Ixermath the Fourth at Alakbar Den, the Bloody Battle. It was rife to portals to other places that it was renamed to Orbital Bog. <laughs> wonder if that... Um, ecstasy to time would give us space-time vortex. It sounds like a thing that would be related to those words. I don't know if precognition is something that can be granted by a historic item. Seems broken. You're taking a lot of damage. More crayons! I can't believe you had never had someone tell you about crayons. Maybe they did, I... but it's something that, like, I'm never going to do something like that, because the, the odds are so small it's barely worth considering. Yeah, but, like, I want to see it once in my lifetime. Yeah. That's kind of why I do it. It's never happened. I guess uh, doing it once per playthrough is, is a good way to do it. Wow, we're getting such good villager rep, damn. Yeah, when you find these, uh... Uh, you should bark. And none of these things can hit me for that in one turn. I don't know if you've noticed that, but... No, but there might always be something else that can. True. Oh. We figured out what was exploding. Oh, oh my Mines. god. Mines. I'm loving some of these side of, uh, sound effects. Some of these are new, I think. I needed to buy more villagers. These uh, idols really do be making enemies to everyone. That is the electric. <laughs> oh, this would be such a good moment to have uh, electric. I guess we missed out on our scoped masterwork on the um, either the rifle or the pistol. That more oil to the northeast? Oh, there's a lot of oil. There's another one. This is just the first floor, by the way. Good god. Cult of the Coiled Lamb that time. Painted. Lots of painted stuff. Oh, <laughs> um, man. Clockwork beetle somewhere. Wow. That gives a lot of bits for being, like, really kind of nothing. <laughs> All right, I'm telling you. One of these boxes of crayons. <laughs> oh, wait, is it? Is it the only the box of crayons is a one in a thousand? Yeah. I thought it was like every time you use it, you have a one in a thousand chance. No, it's per crayon. Oh, God. Well, come on. You should have at least 16 chances per box of crayons. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a man in the middle of the desert drawing on the walls. Kessel face. Kessel face. Still no Jasper. Yeah. As she rode in the soldier's district of Shumu, Ixermath the second lost control of her chariot and drove it off a cliff for Tori... Fortuitously, a group of nearby nomads came to her rescue. Moved by their kindness, Ixermast the second rolled at a local yurt as a tramp. Oh, and some Russia floor floor. about Rebecca that you can learn by playing Caves of Cut. Waist deep in the lake of the fabric of time, Ixermast the fourth cemented his friendship with scientists by marrying Kagatra. All right, well, that was one heck of a first floor. Let's uh, make sure to save our progress because <laughs> it's going to be more of the same. The thing about the Neftali um, is, oh wow, um, they don't do a lot of damage, but they do, it sure does add up over time. Yep. They're they're the kind of creature that wears you down. They're like mirthworms, you know? Ooh. Oof. Everyone's frozen. Freeze, buster. Want to raise horn yet? Nope. No. Might as well take triple jointed for the plus one then. Well, I feel like, I feel like the no, muscle actually needs some love. Well, I mean, it'll get it. It'll eventually get it. Uh, neither one is close to a, a plus naturally right now. Yeah. Well, it's been, I guess, two-headed or two-hearted has been getting all the love. Yeah. That makes sense. Two-headed is kind of a lame one to get the love, but it's all right. What it's is it? My... What's its benefit? Uh, its per-level benefit, I believe, is just mental actions, lower action cost, but we don't have any of those. Oh, huh. So it really doesn't do anything for us to level it. We just wanted two heads for reasons that have still yet to be revealed. Does that, um, does that have a chance to shake off locked in psychic battle? I don't think so. Oh, that's such a bummer. There's like no good way of dealing with that outside of like, uh, 
basically a sniper rifle. <laughs> or I guess the geomagnetic disc is good. There's definitely tools. Hated by the Fellowship of Wardens, wow. Looks like we're learning shield from the Wardens. Those things are pretty tanky. And they carry pickles. Many pickles. Crazy hedonists? Nah. We don't care. We get, we get id rip though. It's also basically impossible to do anything other than kill these. Right, because they're robots. Until right? I get until I get a ganglionic, yeah. <laughs> what was that sound effect? Well, I guess that was grazing hedonists. Yeah, I don't know. Is it the um the musician that work, does all the sound effects? No, actually, uh, the company doing most of the sound effects is a shell in the pit. They do a lot of uh, a lot of sounds for a lot of things. They are good at it. They're doing a fantastic job. It's like by Equins. That was the same sound effect. Yeah, I don't know. Equins, Equins, and uh, what do we got? Burgundy, one-sided die, died in natural causes. He was 106. Aw, oh, he rolled a natural one. Yeah, right, on his one-sided die. And that's a pretty long time to live with a one-sided die. That's We just learned that. No, no that was new. Oh, well, someone else died of natural causes. <laughs> that was a different... This is uh, a very natural causes. Love the sound effect for the chain gun. Yeah. That's real good. More ruins. Ouch. Whoa, okay. High explosive miner. Check. Hated by Chava. Well, when we get to Chava, we're going to be on really good terms. Yeah, right. Hated by highly entropic beings. Yeah, some villager rep trade-off, which, like, is always worth it. Village, Random villages, like, doesn't really matter if they're hostile to you. Does it takes not? a lot. It takes a lot of hate from a random village before it gets to the point where they won't let you in the village to fix it. Right. This guy's kind of tanky. I love that one. The baboons one is subtly different. <laughs> eh. Xermas the third won a decisive victory against the combined forces of Mipper at the bloody battle of Narcave. As a result of the battle, Narcave was so rife with bad omens it was renamed Charmed Marsh. That... okay. We're doing like the ironic naming thing. Charmed Marsh. Bad omens. Let's call it Charmed Marsh. No one will want to go there. Iceland. Or Greenland, I should say. Oh, this guy. This guy very tanky. And all his friends just keep dying. The uh, short blade backswing or whatever its equivalent yeah. is called. is really pulling its weight. It reminds me, actually. Ah, uh, no, we don't really have that many skill points. So yeah, I feel like we haven't spent skills in a while. These guys are everywhere. <laughs> I don't know if you're officially waiting yet. Oof. All right, we venture back out. Just a meat There's another one. Wow. Hated by villagers, fellowship of the wardens. Wardens, yeah. Like, when you get one of these, the reputation game is just... This is like, yes, reputation game. Because... They actually have a very, very small chance. What is this pair of gauntlets? <laughs> Does painted count as a mod? Yeah. So you just like that. That's just stuck. You eat the chunk of cheese. Yeah. A nice gourier. Ooh, nice. Some four bits. At daybreak on the summer solstice, a babe was found swaddled on the bank of an ancient river with blessed coin in each hand. That was Ixermas the third. I love how it's. And was thenceforth known as the name that we've... <laughs> we keep finding variants of the... Oh, nice. Four bits. And their book collectors? Dude. This, uh... Best historic site ever? Yeah, it could be. I mean, the first one was really good, too. It had, like, over 100 oh, pounds of books. Are any of them coming up? Is there someone still shooting at me up here? No, uh, I've noticed that that animation happens when you're on the second Oh, yeah, floor. yeah. Dang. Okay. We failed that one. Free nylon body pack. Yeah, I mean it. It weighs ten pounds, so it, it it's not that free. Quill and Scarlet, the Travazer Terror, died of natural causes. She was one hundred and four. But you could wear. Okay, it. so all the Ixer. This seems to be a natural causes. Uh, Sultan history. Does that mean I'm? That's how I'm doomed to die. What's a natural cause in Caves of Cud? Uh, that's a good question. I feel like that it, that term is very vague. Or very specific, <laughs> not one of. The and other. I mean, it was probably written by Herodoticus, so you know, who knows okay. what you can trust. We're liked by fun guys. What are we wearing on our back? I have no idea. Carbine. Ooh. Heck yeah, but mm, yeah, sure. Mm. I mean, it is tasty. <laughs> All right, I mean, we'll hang on to it. Mmm is the sound you make. Pounding boots. Can we disassemble those? Are those worth anything? We'll just ignore it this time around. Uh, because right, compass bracelet. it doesn't really know the value, like, when it first finds those. So, 
What are you wearing on your back? Uh, it's a good question. Burn noose. Yep. Ooh, let's find out what's going to happen to us. Oh, hey, cats and winged mammals. Heck yeah. Yes, yes, the cat sound is so good. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. Ooh. Oh, hey. All right, well, I can't bug you about the nylon body pack anymore. Certainly that is better. And you are a short blade run, so it could yep. actually help a lot. Oh, I want to keep these. <laughs> Why? Because they're feathered. I mean, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> it's this, it's the swinging sound that gets me. You know? Yeah. Metal fist. Can you make a metal fist your primary weapon? Well, I mean, it could, yeah. But honestly, we don't have other daggers, so I don't really want to throw other ones on. But we'll just, we'll have the punches well, until we find another dagger. We won't have the punches unless we have d dual wielding, right? Right. Oh, we didn't look at this one. Disliked by everyone. Yeah. Oh, I want to hear the fish sound. They didn't make one. Oh. I don't think we hit a break point with them. Or I don't really know what triggers the, to be honest. Oh man, we just have some, ooh, sniper rifle. The more forest strap. Yo, oh. <laughs> Disassembled my favorite weapon. Displacer ooh. bracelet. I actually don't know what that does. Does it just let you um, phase? Or is it like random teleportation? Oh, oh God. yes. We found a lava carrier. Nice. Let's just ignore that for now. Oh, we're getting asked to drop copper nuggets. That's what it's come to. Oh, wow. that's really valuable too. But also, let's just use it. Oh, yeah. All right. Bounding boots it is. Okay, so what what is happening? Uh, I'm teleporting. So is it like instead of moving normally, you teleport? Yeah, it's basically teleport on cooldown. Why? Eh, I'm not sure. How is that good? I don't know. This is funny. <laughs> Also, it, you know, sends you all over the place. It's like, it's like that one skill in, uh, everyone, like, in an ARPG where you just, like, teleport to the random target and attack it. Right. Yes! I think fish just don't have a sound effect yet. But yeah, that's, that's Displacer. That's really but, fun. I mean, it has a, um, you can just turn the power off. Yeah. It's a make Caves of Cud loud toy. Oh, man. I hate these things. All right, <laughs> that we're just going to do it this way. We're going to teach Auto Explore the forbidden tech. <laughs> this gets pretty funny when you do this. I don't know if you've done that before. Well, you put on a pickaxe oh, yeah. and Auto Explore. Oh, man, an Electro Bow. I think I'm just going to disassemble it for the forbid. Yeah, I mean, if you... You know, we have equipped them. a bunch of extra thingies. We really should just buy Jab. We didn't have it. We might as well. <laughs> Ooh, Hendren rep. Heck yeah. Get that dual wielding. Ah, uh, no, no sound. <laughs> Adding a pickaxe with your, like, insanely turbo mm -hmm. speed is just, like, pure chaos. Man. And we're still not at the end. I think there's another nope. floor. This is still a liminal floor. This is true. The thing is, is, like, Auto Explorer will actually, like, dig into places it reasonably knows that there's something. All, All right. right. This is no longer a liminal floor, so this is the last floor. Uh, we should probably uh, do that. Is that a checkpoint? Because we have the checkpoint campfire mod. We're playing the Dark Souls Caves of Code mod. <laughs> oh, we are inspired also. Oh, we already did get our... Yeah, we did. So it's... Now it's just fun stuff. Hulk honey and skulk time. We already have a good love one, too. Uh... Oh, yeah. Undo yeah, like... Hulk honey skulk. That could be a fun one. Um, so I ran... Get the... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I was going to tell you that this is what happens when you only do skulk and honey. Oh, I mean, I, I don't have Spicer, so... Oh, right. Okay, never mind. You get two actives? Yeah. Because there's no trigger, right? Uh, I think you are still capable of getting a trigger and condition, but, uh, because Hulk Honey has trigger, but you just don't get three options. At the Battle of Cad, XMS4 fought to subjugate bears. Boo, XMS4, boo! <laughs> he, he wielded a boundless sword with such an artist that be Boundlessica Bears Blight. Galen would be a huge fan of that Sultan. Oh, because he murdered a bunch of bears? He, he's been having a lot of bear bear encounters. These guys kind of got the jump on me there. Ooh, and one of these guys is coming in. Hey, Ezra. We're going back through this door over here. Yeah, it's starting to get kind of scary. Oh. Yeah, we're getting pretty negative with the Kith of the Miracle, aren't we? Get that Ezra lore, though. Oh, 
oozes. It oozes. Oh, those, they're really good. Love me some ooze friends. Oh, what was that sound effect? Might have been the oozes. I don't know. I don't know who the... Oh, hey, there is one of those things there. What are we oh, we're up? carrying too much. Scaled. Yeah. Scaled null worm skull with filters. That's actually really nice. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's put that on our non-horned head. <laughs> oh, wait, we found a utility knife. Uh, but yeah, sure. We need to, we need to take away the forbidden tech from Auto Explorer anyway. It's too powerful. Ulnar stimulators. Oh, wow. It kind of just goes with the build. Yeah, it does. Have we drawn with these crayons yet? I think we did. I don't know. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Too. All right, we're just dropping boxes of crayons now. Um, all right, we're disassembling chrome revolver. We want to keep the spray foam. We're getting pretty deep into the... Uh, we need to drop off some weight real soon. Uh, this should be an achievement for uh, spawning something with crayons. Why is it dark over there? Is Vanta? Sure Where is the Vanta bloom? I sure hope you don't die. I mean... Oh, it could also be because I, my torch went out. Because I re removed all my torches. Oh. Uh, um, wait. Huh? Also, why is that primary? Because you were using a pickaxe. Hard. You were using a pickaxe. No, but... Oh, no. Which would work? I mean, we have self. Yeah, we have lots of self. For some reason, our horns got, like, unset as our favorite. Oh, also, we do have a torch now. Wow, and... more legendaries. Yeah, also those musket turrets just... But now that I've got my horns back, these things are dying like they should. Another displacer bracelet. <laughs> wow. The full the full set. Jopa yeah. and Barathromites. We are a little surrounded here. We've got tons of... You got tons of salves. Oof. See, the I... thing is, is it's kind of all right to let them chase me for oh. a little bit. That's a bad corner. That was pretty close. Oh, yeah, that's, an, that's the ooze sound. It's like a bloop. Yeah, that was Jopa... Dude, this is absurd. <laughs> Waist deep in the lake of fabric of time, XMS, the force cemented his friendship with scientists. Oh, we knew that one. At a remote college, XMS authored an account that evoked the presence of a windry mentor glacier. She named it Friend of Glacier. All right, now we have even more sharp electrified steel battle axe. Masterwork. Masterwork. Pump shotgun. Yeah. Scrap, please. I don't think uh, I've ever seen this much stuff. At a historic site. Well, it's because of the legendary monster as a, like, so it spawned like seven extra legendary monsters per floor or something like that, right? Right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Daughters of Exile, Villagers of Kawar. Oh, and the Pewdus Templar. Why not? The best thing you can possibly get is like baboon legendaries that one's pretty great like i think they're also like really good and they're a little easier to kill than these guys oh shit i accidentally went past that one oh man wreaked havoc on all of our goods stealing oil from the heat lamps in the villages <laughs> of fungi and cats ah uh, can we put a nope it impinged upon third edition third by edition. the way yeah that's when they were there's still your good. there's your call out yeah when it was still good Let's just uh, disassemble that cell and drop the... <laughs> wow. Holy God. That's a lot. All right, we didn't even look at this one. The husband of... Oh, we're like getting positive with a... Whoa. We're positive with a cult. That changes things entirely. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Please, <laughs> please gain powers. Yes. Helping Hands is now named... All right, I'm going to name it based on the kiss of the... Yes. Oh, my God. F-E-F, -E -F, error missing hex value in the eater colors in honor of all the robots that were slain. I don't think it got any artifact abilities. We can check uh, its equipment. Nah, nope. dang. Ugh. It's pretty rare. When it does happen, it's usually pretty good, though. All right, I guess we got to go in. The pink chest is there, though. We're almost done. <laughs> I mean, you say that, but there's still a whole floor, basically. Cannibals. Fish. Fish are indifferent. Fish didn't like you before? I think fish start out negative. Oh. Um, that's a really good one. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Uh. Plus one ego, plus two to hit in melee. Is that That's good, right? Like, it's not that's like... That's amazingly good. That's like... For a floating glow sphere? Okay, that was just a silly chest. Uh, we are still 
equipping a carbine, right? Yeah, okay, we got a second carbine at some point. We'll just disassemble this one. Plus two to hit in melee. That's kind of silly. What does that do for you? Like, I know it's, like, it probably... 10% chance to hit? Like, everything's kind of D20 based for hit. Right. Oh, uh, we got a chariot driven off a cliff by a nefarious party of antelopes, and he was killed at 44 years old. We know this is not how Ixermiss the Fourth dies, though. He comes back to life. We just haven't learned about it yet, I don't think. Uh, Strange tubes. Engraved chain pistol. Hmm. Hmm. Carbine nah. or two chain pistol? Nah. I think I'm going to disassemble the chain pistol. Grenade launcher. We're definitely treating that as scrap. Well, uh, what? It was slender. Yeah, but it was also the cheapest thing I had. But I love a grenade launcher. Corrupt administrator was appointed minister of soldiers, district of Shumu. He outlawed the practice of cleaving skulls, and the man was forced to flee. <laughs> you get you get trolled by a seed sprout right at the very end. Orb. Why are there so many now? Where'd they come from? I don't know. That's weird. Is it interesting that this place kind of looks like a pencil sharpener? <laughs> it does. <laughs> like look at it on the on the world map it looks like one of those pencil sharpeners that was like screwed onto the desk in school yeah yeah i'm pretty sure this has already been a monster episode because that was a ridiculous like oh we, yeah how long has this one been going 50, 50 minutes yeah yeah this has been this has been an episode i want i want i figured we like oh yeah we'll just do let's this do a quick fight. recap of like some things though how do we, we need to get yeah, we need to get Spicer soon, but I don't know that it's the most important thing we have. I don't know, man. I say we just save some skill points. Yeah. All right. But yeah. What's what our, did what's we pull our... out of there? I think the glittering. This is the. This is the. Uh, this is the reward, right? Yeah. Plus one ego, plus two to hit in melee. That's pretty ridiculous. But then this is the real reward. How? What did you just do there? You just move over to the reputation side and hit enter, and then it'll sort by reputation instead of name. Oh, well, that's my real reward, because I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Like, we are positive with so many people. Yeah. Though, I'm a little sad that we didn't get much unshelled reps. But we're, like, one scaled mod away from being cool with unshelled reptiles, which is, like, way nice already to be, like, done with. We got super lucky well, finding a legendary cult. The thing is, is that it's really likely that other spots for the same dude will also have these guys. Right. Are you wearing your Crocs and your scaled? No, I think we switched to the scaled boots. No, no we have the slimy chain boots. Um, so you could be on good terms with... Uh, yeah, yeah, already. Oh, we do have our scaled uh, yeah. helmet. Our scaled no warm skull giving us another ego. You know what's interesting is if we were to equip the teleport wand because of our ego, we'd get a plus to it now. Because we have mm. plus to our ego. Right. It would be giving us a plus to our... Plus a which I think one. is kind of fun. Uh, uh, a good recipe would probably increase it even better. Mm-hmm. I think we can... Uh... All right. Well, that was a, a pretty intense haul. Yeah. Um, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and we'll see you guys next.